Welcome back to the show today, guys. I'm so excited to air to you in part two of my conversation with my good friend and brother, Bryce Eddy, um, discussing this horrific story outside of the UK where a precious baby named Indy was just murdered by the UK government and the court who refused to allow this child's parents to go to Italy to give the life-saving care that the Italian government was willing to grant to this child. This is the culture of death. This is what ideology does. We talk about this and the abortion pill, which is the new horizon of the abortion industry. Buckle up, you're in for a treat. I'm Seth Gruber and this is Unaborted. Have you seen, today is Friday, November 10th, for those listening. Dude, have, have you seen this baby <clears throat> and this family in Europe um, that I believe the UK is essentially ordering be let to die? Mm, no. You talk, me, I mean, you talk, about, you talk about eugenics. You talk about required participation. You talk about um, <laughs> an example of when you rip Christianity from a society. Um, the, the, the parents of this terminally ill, sweet little baby are, are, have just lost a UK battle to bring her home. Um, according to the, to the story, <clears throat> a judge at Britain's high court ruled on Wednesday, November 8th, that life support for a terminally ill eight-month-old baby should be withdrawn despite efforts by the infant's parents and the Italian government to transport her to Italy for further treatment. The Italian government saying, we will care for the baby. Come here. The parents of this sweet baby, Indy, who has a rare metabolic disorder known as mitochondrial disease, have fought legal battles in a bid to continue life support for their child. But a judge has just ruled that doctors can lawfully limit life-supporting invasive treatment. Talk about a euphemism. Because continuing with the treatment would not be in the child's best interest. The baby's parents had hoped to fly Indy to Italy, where the Vatican's pediatric hospital has offered to care for her. But Justice Peel ruled it was, quote, too dangerous to send the baby home, given the clinical complications. So it's dangerous to try to keep the child so alive. Let the child die so it's better to kill the child. Yeah. He had already ruled that a transfer to Italy would not be in the baby's interest, and the Court of Appeal judges have backed that decision. Okay. So now, so now, what, what's interesting? Okay, so this is this is a complex one. Okay, so this is a complex one. Now, it's illogical what they're describing um, because if you know, if Italy, I mean, just just at the you know basic uh, human level, if Italy is saying, "Hey, we'll do this. We'll take on this burden," right? Um, then of course the the risk is then worth it. The additional taxpayer money because you know the UK you know system is it's a taxpayer funded system that's right okay so um you know from a, a public public relations standpoint i mean forget the you know moral you know issues there then you know fine do it you know whatever right um you will get more of this and we already get a lot of this here in the u.s right because our system is not a single payer health system it's not right. a socialized <laughs> medicine system but it's close okay Yep. It's close because we have a, a cabal of deciders, and it's a very, very few deciders, the insurance carriers and, you know, the uh, right. uh, provider groups and all that stuff that really decide most of your care, whether you want, um, like it or not. Um, and so the only very wealthy at this point can can really have a huge impact on, on the treatment that is delivered. Um, and, you know, and our system has, has degraded over time. It was once um, the envy of the world. Um but also, you know, there is not, and we have this here in the U.S., people demand heroic, life-saving, costly measures no matter what right. to try to save every life. And at some point, mm -hmm. someone has to call it. In this situation, you know, you've got another government that's saying, oh, no, we'll mm -hmm. take it on, you know, or, uh, well, I mean, the Vatican, right, Italy, right? They're saying, hey, we'll do this. You know, we'll take it on. We'll take the burden. Yeah. Um, and by know, the way, but... there's there's no cost involved for the UK government to allow this baby to be transferred to Italy. So this is um, nothing more than just state sanctioned murder. Yeah. No. And in that case, I agree. Yeah. But but, um, but if you don't think we're going to get more of that sort of stuff, somebody else deciding your fate and your family's fate, like who, remember who the death panels and, you know, yep. all that sort of stuff like yep. that, that is, uh, 
you know, that is coming here as our system further degrades and people push for single, yep. single payer health. The, yep. the government isn't going to get better at delivering care than, you know, even though our system is not truly a free market system, a free market system would work yep. and, and our costs would go down. Right. You know, you eliminate a lot of the, you know, insurance um, uh, uh, structuring and some of yep. those things and, and our costs would, would dramatically go down. You make yep. people pay. Yeah. For their own care, um, well, in and also, most cases, like, <clears throat> a lot of this price is just—it's just the euphemisms of the culture of death. What, yeah. what does terminally ill even mean? We're all going to die. Yeah, we it's are. It's just all... a matter of time. So, what's the standard? Yeah. Right. And also, also, where's the line? Yeah. So, let's say you have a debilitating terminal disease that in 1900 meant you were dying in a year, but today. Maybe, maybe through medical intervention, drugs, and various forms of support, yeah. you could live 15 years. Now, is that still terminal? Yeah, I guess it's still terminal. I guess we're all terminal in the sense that none of us are getting out of this alive. So at what point does your terminal diagnosis mm -hmm. justify the state or a hospital saying, we refuse to care for you despite the fact that we'll get paid? Right. Despite the fact that you're willing to pay or, 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 or the healthcare provider saying we're not going to cover this. Right. So you're going to die. Tell me, tell me, how many years does terminal have to mean before you can be killed by the state? Yeah. Do you see how this is like this? The, you, you put your foot in this door. The whole thing's going to swing wide open. And we've done this. It oh, just yeah. happened like 80 years ago, dude, in a place called the Third Reich. Oh, yeah. Okay. We, we've done this to human beings all around. Stalin was all for this. Mao Zedong was all for this. Sanger was all for this. And we're doing it today. We're oh, doing yeah. it today oh, with yeah. the no, killing no, of children with babies decide. diagnosed with Down syndrome or, or trisomy 18 or anything that might just pose you as more of a burden. Yeah. Right. The, the Germans called, by the way, that they called their victims useless eaters. That was their term. Because what's the point in feeding you? You're terminal anyways, right? Yeah. You, you got a physical disability that will eventually take your life. You're just a useless eater. You're just sucking off the system. Yeah, that there will be um, people deciding you and your family's fate um, increasingly in our culture coming. You know, it's, it's happening already, but it's going to happen more and more as we move down that path. And um, if you are part of the system, if you are favored by the system, mm -hmm. you will get better treatment. You will get better care. You, you know, you, you will be taken Dude. care of. They've been making movies about this. Yeah, for years. and uh, and it's a uh, <laughs> dystopian it's, future. It's coming. And now here it is. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I want uh, you you mentioned drugs and it triggered a thought that I have. So I, I wanted to ask you a question about RU you four eighty six. Okay. So yeah, oh, the uh, Nazi era. Yeah. Relic. Okay, so that's the abortion pill. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Every Life, Every Life Diaper Company, the only pro-life diaper company in America. I mean, this is so. This is just like the reason that they have to be a sponsor of the show is is unreal. Like we're partnering with them because all eight of the major American diaper companies rhetorically support or financially support the abortion industry so the baby industry that that profits off of selling things for babies it supports or funds the killing of babies which means that there's less babies which means that they don't make as much money yeah try to explain that okay nothing explains that except the woke mind virus okay that that is a result of this culture of death and you can't defeat the culture of death by funding a culture of death. This is how we win and fight back, by creating an alternative economy to fund the kind of culture we want to build, okay? So listen, if you've got kids, I've got three, all right? We got lots of poop around the house, right? We gotta have diapers. If you need to have diapers anyways, go to everylife.com, promo code SETH10, 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 okay? And and if you sign up for the uh, the, the membership, uh, then you actually save a little bit more money. Promo code SETH10, um, get your diapers from every life. Let's bankrupt every pro-abortion diaper company because conservative pro-life Christians have the most kids anyways. So it's actually the pro-life Christians who are funding the pro-abortion diaper companies. We got to stop this. Thank you to our sponsor, Every Life. Go to everylife.com, promo code SETH10, SETH10, to get 10% off your first order. <laughs>